So I registered for my first medical conference. So for starters, I registered for ideation, quiz and poster presentation. I went to the infectious disease department of Kasturba Medical College and asked for a case. And I started working on this case using PowerPoint presentation and the features available in it at a waffle cafe. And here is my poster for reference. Unfortunately, the audio there was very hazy because of the background noise and I wasn't able to remove it. But you can use headphones for a better experience. Here is a small snippet of my poster presentation. I hope you like it because I feel I did a decent job for a beginner. The patient is a 40 year old man, uh, a goldsmith by profession, who came in with the chief complaints of fever, pain, and redness in the right eye for the past 11 days. And it was associated with reduction in uh, his vision in the same eye for the past three days, which was his primary reason for the hospital visit. Uh, he is uh, type 2 diabetes mellitus case, which is uncontrolled in nature. Uh, along with this, two weeks ago, he had a UTI that was treated with uh, tablet with uh, ciprofloxacin at a local hospital. And uh, now for the findings, as you can see in this image, you can observe some primary congestions, which is diffuse in nature, along with hypopion and an exudative membrane over the human And now I'll be taking you through a timeline of the interventions and the investigations done on this patient. So initially, on the day one, blood and vitreous samples were collected for culture and sensitivity. Along with this, a random blood sugar was taken, which was uh, 189, which is pretty high. So in order to address these two issues, uh, number one, an empirical therapy of intravenous antibiotics was started, along with parenteral exit. Now, on the second day, the provisional diagnosis of endophthalmitis was confirmed with a B scan. And uh, there was also a parsthena vitreactomy done with the administration of intravitreal antibiotics such as glycomycin and cephalic. On the day 3, uh, the culture sensitivity reports revealed a uh, mighty drug resistant E. coli, which was ESBL, extended spectral beta lactase producing E. coli, which is when the antibiotics were changed to intravitreal amikacin as it was sensitive to it, and so were the systemic antibiotics replaced. Uh, eventually, for the next 7 days, he was on continuous parental anti antibiotic therapy as well as antibiotic therapy, and he underwent a series of vitreectomy and anterior chamber tap. Uh, which is when his condition stabilized uh, and there was significant clinical improvement with reduction in the pain and redness and he became aphantile but his vision still remained impaired. And now finally, uh, it doesn't end here. A CT of the abdomen and chest revealed that he had bilateral scarring of the renal barrier. So the UTI that we talked about earlier was presumed to be the primary source of this infection. And now, um, he was finally discharged in a stable condition and uh, on uh, regular antibiotic therapy. But if we talk about the case, we should note that endogenous endophthalmitis forms about 2 to 8 percent of all endophthalmitis that happens. And for the, uh, the mere fact that this was caused by a multidrug resistant E. coli, which uh, was able to uh, cross the blood ocular barrier and cause such a deprecated complication is what makes this case interesting. Now what we can take away from this case is that uh, number one, antibiotic sensitivity testing is of utmost importance. What is also important is to supplement the uh, systemic and topical antibiotics with intravitreal antibiotics because they may not be able to attain the therapeutic concentration in the eye to treat the cells. Diabetes mellitus is one of the greatest risk factors for any kind of complications of bacteria, which is why it is of utmost priority even for the patient and the healthcare provider to address and reduce the blood sugar levels first. Uh, endogenous and top is usually uncommon but is a very deprecating condition. Uh, in spite of recent researches in uh, medical and surgical interventions for the same, the clinical outcomes have not shown any good progress, which is why uh, diagnosis at the earliest followed by aggressive therapy is important to improve its prognosis in the future. And uh, thank you so much. So the only place that I feel I fumbled a little was at the question answer round that is going on right now. Since the audio isn't audible, the judge basically asked me one or two questions about antibiotics that was completely out of my spectrum of knowledge as an undergraduate. So instead of answering something wrong, I just let him know that I'm going to go and find it out from the hospital itself. Another thing that really helped me was following up on the patient because I realized that at poster presentations they do really want to know what actually happened to the patient and fortunately I was able to do that. 
I will I will try to find that out from the hospital. What happened to the eye? The eye, uh, initially they were planning on evisceration, but then uh, since he was clinically stable, they uh, decided to go ahead with uh, uh, reducing the infection itself. So he cannot see from that eye now, but he has other eyes. That's about it and I really hope you learned something from this experience of mine. Thank you so much.